Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to show you how I curl my hair using the Baby Bliss Pro curling iron. I'm sure you've seen this, the silver with the blue. I really like how my hair turns out with this. I feel like I have a little more control than using a wand. It took a lot of practice, a lot of practice, but I really like how it turns out. So I wanna show you this, give you my thoughts on this, and just show you how I do my hair. Um, before we get started with curling the hair, so I washed my hair today. I let it air dry to like 80% and then I'll like roughly blow dry it just to get like the shape on the top more smooth because I will have a little bit of wave around here. I do put in two products before like I blow dry my hair or style it. The one I've been really liking as like a leave-in conditioner and hair protectant is the Pureology Color Fanatic. It has like 21 benefits. A little expensive, yes but it's a multitasking leave-in spray, specifically for color-treated hair, anti-fade complex. It's also 100% vegan. Really love that. And it just lists 21 benefits. The main thing, you know, preserving hair color, a leave-in conditioner, detangles, protect against heat damage, and it goes on for like 21 benefits. I really like this. It doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel like sticky or anything, so. Once I towel dry my hair, I'll put this in with some oil just on the ends. The one I'm using right now is a Brigio Don't Respair. Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. This is really intense. You only need a few drops. I'm saying three to four drops if you have like thin hair like me. Let me move back so you can see like my hair. <laughs> I prefer the Olapex oil over this one this one's good it's just like really intense and can be a little heavy on my thin hair if you have thin hair like me check out the olipex before this one i do like this one but it takes some like practicing how much your hair can handle this one isn't bad i just prefer the other one for my hair maybe if you have thicker really coarse or dry hair you might really like this like i said i will towel dry my hair put those in let my hair air dry to about 80 percent and then i'll like blow dry it my hair is kind of short, it's like medium length, but it's like thin. I just do two sections. You can do however many sections you want, but I just do two. I have it set at between 285 and 330. It's like in the middle of that. You can use, this has turbo heat power, so it says push in for turbo heat. I don't need turbo heat. My hair is very fragile. I can't remember what size this is. I will list it down below. I bought mine at Ulta. It wasn't like super expensive compared to a lot of the other ones, but it wasn't like super cheap either. I start with back sections about one inch. Be careful, I have burned myself a few times with this. Um, I, like to I like to alternate my curls. So I just put it in, twist, get that hair, and then I twist up. I leave it about eight seconds. And then I unclamp and I pull the rest of the hair down. I do leave the ends out because I like straighter ends. Again, hold for like five to eight seconds. And then I unravel and then sh pull straight down so the ends are straight. I feel like I need to zoom out a little. So here's the first curl. And now the next piece of hair, I am going to go in the opposite direction. Ooh. I usually do this in my bathroom, not in this room. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Again, split it. Now I'm going to go the other direction. So clamp facing away from me. And then I curl this way. Obviously, the underlayer is the shortest layer of my hair. And it's like close to your head. So it's going to be like the hardest layer. But... It doesn't have to be perfect because the rest of your hair will lay on top of it, so. Again, I just pull out all that end mist, like it slid out of the clamp. So what you can do is just take it and I just straighten the ends. I like straight ends. That one kind of got messed up, but it's okay. We can always come back and touch it up. And then this little piece, 
switch my directions. Now the front pieces I try to curl away from my face. Just like that. Just because it's a little more flattering. Again, unravel and pull straight down. The nice thing about this clamp is that you can like move your hair through it. I don't know how to explain it, but like the clamp isn't super tight where I didn't even have to hit it to like pull down. It gently pulled down kind of like without pulling out my hair. So that's why I really like this one. Show you this side. I'll fast forward this section and then I'll show you what I do for the top. All right, also I just wanna apologize. My dog is chewing her bone in the background and it's so loud, I am so sorry. And also they're screaming children because all the kids are outside playing and I just wanted fresh air, so sorry about that. Hopefully you can't hear too much of it. All right, so next I'm gonna do the top layer. I'm gonna be a little more particular with this one just because again, it is what you're gonna see. So I will show you this side. And then you can always go back and touch up, so. I've tried that method where you do this and you untwist it and then you do it again and you twist it and it's like a twist. But for some reason, I guess because, I guess because my hair is thin, that doesn't really work for me. This method works better. I feel like I have a better curl and they're like bouncier and... I feel like twisting it and pulling it makes the curl for my hair really like flatten and not have like any bounce and fullness to it. So that's why I just prefer this way. Oops. Oh gosh. I pulled some hair out. I wasn't paying attention. This is hard to do and talk at the same time. So again, I'm just going to go back and straight in the end. Okay. I know I'm still practicing. I am not the best at this, but... Practice, practice, practice. But yeah, I, I just don't like that curl for my hair. My hair is pretty thin and it just doesn't work. Unfortunately, because I love watching people do it. I'm like, that's so cool. And it wasn't that hard to learn, but it just did not work for my hair. So I'm alternating the curls and then I'm making sure the next two pieces that are really going to be by my face, I am going to curl away. I'm going to have one more and then my bang piece, so... I mean, I could probably do this in two sections. I might do that one so it can be a tighter curl and give me some lift. This is just gonna be a small one. Yeah. So that's what people do, they untwist it and then, untwist it and then See? See how the curl is so flat? That method just doesn't work. So, for me. So, I don't do that method. <laughs> so I do this, get really tight to the root. I just got my hair colored and I love it. I'm going back to being brunette. I just think it looks healthier and shinier and it's just so much easier for me to upkeep with. I just like don't want to be going to the salon that much anymore. 
Um, so, like, look how good those look. So good. Anyways, yeah, so I just got my hair color done and I love it. I love it. It just looks so fresh and good and shiny and healthy. Alright, for the bang. I don't curl any higher than, like, my eyebrow level. And I don't have to hold this one as long because it's like a smaller piece of hair. And I pull down. So it just has like one curl in it and more like straight. I like that. So yeah, let your curls cool as long as they can. I'm gonna fast forward through the next side and then I'll be right back. Also, another thing with the bang, you want to make sure your curling iron straight up. This side was a little more tricky. I don't know what was going on. I was just missing a bunch of hair and then I had to go back in, so. And I get like really impatient with curling my hair, like sitting here and holding a curling iron. It's not what I want to be doing. So you can see how the bang, the curl hits lower. And sometimes I go in here to pull out a skinny piece and then curl really close to the root to give it some volume just like one or two pieces so you can see that added some volume so I'm gonna let them sit before I brush them out I usually just like use my hand and just like finger it through if my hair is feeling a little dry I might use like a little bit of that leave-in conditioner um, and just go through the ends to kind of give it more shine so all in all this curling iron is really good. My curls are shiny, smooth. So I really like this curling iron. I love this size, especially if you have short hair or medium length hair. I think it's really, I think it's a really good size for short or medium length hair. Heats up really fast. I don't think it's super damaging to my hair and it slides through. Now that might be my hair. I have fine hair. It's it's not coarse it's pretty silky you know when I blow dry it pretty smoothing pretty smooth for hair texture I don't have any kind of crazy hair texture so it does glide through this very nicely now if you have more coarse hair or curly hair I'm not sure how it's gonna work for you compared to a wand I do think my curls with a wand stay very long the thing is I feel like you have a little more control with a curling iron I can get my ends straight with a wand it's like really hard and then it, they can be all over the place now I feel like the curls with my wand will stay fuller and last longer, but again, this has more control and I like the look of this better compared to the wand. And I will leave the price and the size of this iron down below. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I will leave it down below. Also the products I mentioned for my hair. Oh, I forgot to like brush my curls out. All right, so I'm just gonna finger to tossle them. Okay, they're gonna relax through the night. Ooh, my earring. So again, you can see how it's like frizzy and poofy down there. I'll use a little bit of oil or styling cream down there. And yeah, so I like how full it is. I like the straight ends. I think it makes it look more, a little more like edgy and chiller and it's not like tight curls. I'll show you the back. 
Again, it's probably gonna look a little more uniform once I brush it and put in a little more product. But that's the back. So yeah, that's how I curl my hair with curling iron and I do really like this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that post notification bell if you want to see my future uploads. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah, if you want to see any other hair videos or anything, let me know down below. Let me know what hair products you like, what styling tools you love. So I'm always looking for new things to try. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.